we go. How beautiful is this Karula sidelet up in a marula tree? I wonder what success she's had. Oh, there we go, the spotlight's back. I wonder what success she's had in the last few days, especially with those downpours. Perfect hunting weather for big cats. I wonder whether or not she managed to catch anything and where she's put her two cubs. Last we knew they were south on Little Gowrie, but I think Brent mentioned that he saw tracks around the Mwati yesterday. I had to laugh at Tristan when he arrived back from his bushwalk and he he was sodden from sort of the waist down and said that he had half the Mawati in his shoes and I could see it. They were sand encrusted and they just gave the impression of being quite heavy. Let's go forward a bit Brian. Let's get a nice view. <coughs> no fly. It's not even light yet. How can you be plaguing me already? Are you okay there, Brian? Now, Rachel, good morning to you. You want to know how old Karula is? She is 13 in April. Now, the truly extraordinary female that she is, she's raised four cubs, four sets of cubs, sorry, four sets of cubs to adulthood and is in the process of, oopsie, although that's very pretty, isn't it, Brian? In the process of raising the fifth set of cubs, <coughs> Which basically means, if you think about it, a leopard has its cubs, oh, lovely yawn, roughly every two years. And she's nearly 13 years old, and she's nearly raised five sets of cubs to adulthood. How impressive is that? Once every two years, give or take, from when she was ready to breed, which would have been at around about two years old. It's one of the reasons why she, we often talk about her and her unparalleled success rate in terms of raising cubs. I don't know if Brent has ever encountered a leopard that has been as successful as she has. I certainly haven't. That is utterly stunning. Good morning. What are your plans for the rest of the morning, my girl? Are you quite happy in that Marula branch? Everything's a bit soggy down here. Hey, getting muddy paws. I had to laugh at the guinea fowl, all running away. Oh, down we go again. No, just looking for a more comfortable spot. A slightly more invisible spot. This is very, very pretty. It's a, oh, this was very, very pretty. <laughs> what an enjoyable way to spend a morning. I was planning on going to the hyena den. Karula has completely scuppered my plans, as she did. When did we drive along here and she popped out of nowhere, Brian? Was it three days, four days ago? Maybe four days ago, where she popped out on quarantine with her two cubs. 